In this video, I'm going to show you how to install parking brake shoes on your Subaru Impreza, located behind the rear rotor. Remove the five 19 millimeter lug nuts. Remove your wheel. Remove the dust cap on the rotor, pocket screwdriver. There's a star wheel that will allow the shoes to compress. To loosen the shoes, turn the star key clockwise. You can either use a flathead screwdriver or a drum brake tool. Using a 14 millimeter socket, I'm going to remove the caliper bracket bolts. Remove the caliper bracket assembly with a flat blade screwdriver. Put it out of the way and make sure there's no tension on the hose. Remove the rotor. You can use a hammer and tap around the hat of the rotor to try and free up. If you are going to reuse the rotor, you are not going to want to hit the face or the back at all. and remove the rotor. We're going to remove the top two springs. Using a pair of locking pliers. If you're reusing the spring hardware, try not to ruin it. Remove this spring. Move to the bottom. And remove the spring on the bottom. Using either a pair of pliers to push down on this clip or a drum brake tool kit, we are going to push down on this clip while holding the pin in the middle on the back of the backing plate and we're going to twist and release. Remove your adjuster and do the same thing to the other side. We're going to remove the U clip on the back of the parking brake. Using a pair of adjustable pliers, push on the top of the U and the back of the stud. And using a small pry tool, we're going to remove it and go ahead and 
take the shoe off of the stud. We're going to take the rear shoe. We're going to insert this plug that came with it. Put the parking brake cable onto that pin. Put down your new washer and install the U clip. U clip. I was using a pair of locking pliers to squeeze these two pieces of metal together. And once it's on, squeeze the two ends together. Slide the pin through. And lock it down with your clip. Install the front shoe, the pin through the backing plate. Put the shoe on and lock it down with your locking clip. Install the metal plate. And your top right spring. Install the spring on the top left. Go ahead and pull those up over the hooks. Install the spring on the right shoe. Pull that over and put it in place. If you're reusing the same adjuster, it's a good idea at this time to now put some new grease there and in the threads here. Then you can install it. Install the bottom spring.
make sure it only sits in these two little slots and it doesn't go through the bottom. Before reinstalling the rotor, I would clean the surface of the hub. the rotor on, you're going to want to now adjust your adjuster until you feel the shoes mostly stop the rotor and then back it off three clicks. To make the shoes expand, we're going to twist the adjuster counterclockwise. Rotor's locked down. We're going to come off a few clicks. Install your dust cap. Install your caliper. Using a 14 millimeter, I'm going to tighten down the bolts. Torque your caliper bracket bolts to 48 foot-pounds. Install the rear wheel. And finger tight your five lug nuts. Tighten them down in a star pattern. Now that our car is on the ground, I'm going to tighten our five 19 millimeter lug nuts in a star pattern to 100 foot pounds. I like to do it twice, just to make sure. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.